feature portrayal using a feature portrayal service, enhanced user layer SLDs, catalog-based portrayal registry, and catalog-based feature discovery. This presentation will demonstrate the use of concepts developed in the cross-community interoperability thread. These include use of a feature portrayal service to render features, creation of enhanced custom SLDs based on catalog discovery of features and web feature services, use of semantic mediation to convert features from one schema to another to aid portrayal. These areas will be demonstrated using the following scenario. An earthquake has occurred in Monterey, California. The president of Atlantis was vacationing in Monterey and was badly injured by a tower that fell because of the earthquake. Two analysts will use a web mapping interface to develop an evacuation plan by examining framework mapping data. Each analyst prefers a different symbology but may need to visualize features from a data set which is not typically presented in their preferred symbology. These other features are mediated into another feature type using a semantic mediator governed by semantic translation rules provided by a Sparkle server. All features require a symbology definition to be rendered. In this scenario, the symbology is stored in a portrayal registry which can provide a symbology rule set for an identified feature type based on the feature type's namespace. Rule sets are identified by clients and used to define styled layer descriptors or SLDs. SLDs are consumed by a feature portrayal service to render map images. The two analysts have access to data stored in four web feature services, or WFSs. USGS WFS, provided by CubeWorks. Two semantic mediated WFSs, provided by Luciad. And the TDS WFS, provided by Interactive Instruments. The National Guard user logs into his portal to access his portfolio designed to support his operational view. Portfolios can be shared by other users to concentrate relevant information. The National Guard user will use this portfolio to develop a map of the affected quake area, drawing on feature types published in the CSW catalog. The National Guard receives an important message that the president of Atlantis was vacationing in Monterey and was badly injured by a tower that fell because of the earthquake. He needs to find the fastest route to a hospital, suggest roads, or find an airport to transport the president to San Francisco. The analyst considers Monterey Airport. The airport looks like a good option for an airlift. Unfortunately, imagery arrives indicating that the airport is damaged and unusable. Zooming out, an airport further north in Watsonville is spotted. The analyst decides to review the available feature data for the area, concentrating on transportation networks and buildings. Web features are discovered using the CSW Catalog Client. Here, the analyst uses defined topic categories for discovering transportation and building features. These features are from the TDS dataset that the analyst is accustomed to. The discovered features are added to the portfolio. Returning to the portfolio, the analyst adds the feature types to the map. In the background, the metadata for the feature types is retrieved from the catalog to determine what namespace they belong to. Using the feature type namespace, service information, and feature type name, an SLD is constructed and used in a get map request to the FPS, resulting in a map rendered according to the proper symbology rules. The analyst zooms in on the Watsonville Airport. It is decided that more road information might be needed to determine what routes to use. The analyst returns to the catalog to see if there are any other transportation datasets available. The semantically mediated roads feature type is discovered. This is USGS data represented as TDS features. These features can be rendered using the TDS symbology. The new feature type is added to the map. These features came from a USGS data store, but are presented as TDS features. The FPS can portray these features using the TDS symbology. The resulting map will blend with the current map of TDS features. Using the extra information provided by these features, the analyst decides that Wattsville Airport is a good bet.